Mina. Welcome back to another beautiful day. Uh, I'm so excited today. I wanted to show you the dried results of our Peacock and the Cosmos. Uh, let's do the Peacock first. He turned out so cool. I love how he looks. Very majestic, very regal, beautiful colors. And my daughter Vivian did his eyes for me. This one's actually purple and this one's actually blue, which is <laughs> kind of awesome. But I love how he turned out. Are you, can you get the eyes? Mm -hmm. okay. Tail. So I love that these colors are actually a little darker and very regal looking and very majestic. Um, I might come in and do a little bit more embellishment on here on the feathers, but I'm not sure yet. I don't want to do anything and rush it and regret it later, so I'm waiting until I'm sure of what I want to actually do. But I love how he looks right now. I love his head, I love his crown, I like his neck, I like this part. I love that these two sides are not actually perfectly symmetrical, even though they are the same colors, which I thought was really awesome. But I really love this area in here. Just so pretty. So he's really beautiful. Several of you asked me where I got him. I found him on eBay. If you search Peacock Ceramics Unpainted or, uh, you know, Raw Ceramics, you should be able to find a lot of different stuff because I saw a whole bunch of stuff on eBay. There's a bunch of stuff on Amazon, on Etsy, anywhere you want. <laughs> So that's the peacock. I'm going to put him up here. He's really cool. And he probably will go into the garden. And then this was the four that we did, the cosmos, with the golf ball where we wrecked it. With that really cool little Fibonacci spiral there. Thank you, Gina DeLuca, for always making me think of Fibonacci spirals. <laughs> but they came out really pretty. I love how the golf ball sort of, as it rolled around, it picked up paint and made this sort of very feathery sort of really cool look and I love all the cells in here I really like the colors in here this corner is just love it love it love it love it so this one is really awesome so this was our cosmos tour and that was the peacock I want to show you guys the dried results of those two so let's get started for today today we are going back to bloomtown <laughs> this is a 12 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. Tape the back and put the push pins in. Thank you, HOA. And let me show you the colors that we're using. Okay, so this is the pillow paint that I use. Bare Premium Plus Interior Exterior High Gloss Enamel. This one is Ultra Pure White. This is the pillow paint here. That's mixed with the GAC 800. Nice and thick. There's a mound on a mound before it disappears. So this is the pillow paint and the GAC 800 back to back, okay? And then my pouring medium is that same stuff, but it's not the ultra pure white, it's the deep base, which is the untinted house paint. Okay, so I have all my colors lined up here on my nifty little shelf. Uh, the first one is Modern Masters Cool Mint. Very, very pretty. I really like this color a lot. Well, it's like my pistachio, that's why. <laughs> so that's our cool mint from Modern Masters. We also have from Modern Masters the Olympic Gold that I have used previously. Very pretty. Let's put that back. Let's put this back. Next one we have is Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue, which I really, really like this color a lot. Beautiful shimmer on there. Lovely soft sky blue color. I really like it. Okay. Next we have Golden's High Flow Turquoise. And this is just gotta be one of my all-time, all-time favorite colors. Just amazing. Okay. And then last but not least, we have our Golden's High Flow in Phthalo Blue. Okay, so I also do have white and black cell activator mixed up. The cell activator is Australian Floetrol, and this one is Amsterdam Black, and this one is Australian Floetrol with Amsterdam White. And these are much thinner than those. So I have figured out the thinner <laughs> the CA is, the cell activator, the faster your cells come up, which is kind of neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and play a little bit. Okay, so I showed you the canvas, 12 by 24. All right, cross your fingers, here we go. 
So, I'm actually, I bought a piece from Karen Dershon that I am in love with. I just, it's in my bedroom and I stare at it every morning. It's called Matchsticks. It's an amazing video and I will link that one for you guys. Um, but it's very minimal. There's a lot of white negative space and there's beautiful blocks of color. So I don't want to actually do something where I cover the entire canvas. I want some of that negative space and I want some of those blocks of color. So, okay. Let's put down some of our pillow paint. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Let's start with some turquoise, because I love turquoise. Okay, we're gonna do a line. Okay, now we're gonna come in with some of that glacier blue. Okay, now we're gonna put some of our Olympic gold. but not least the cool mint. Okay. All right. For this one, I want to do the black cell activator because I think it's going to be really, really cool. Napkin ready. Okay. So black cell activator on there. back into your cup as much as possible. That float down a little bit. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Very Let's ready. start over here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's one. Let's go right into that garbage can instead of glob on there. Okay, so that's really pretty. I love all those cells that are popping up. Let's see, should I turn it around? I'm going to turn the canvas around. I'm going to do the same thing. I need a little bit more color in there, though. I'm going to say no. Okay. All right, same thing. Black cell activator. Put the back of the spatula. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, baby. Here we go. Okay. That's cool. I'm happy. That was pretty cool. Alright. Okay, we're just gonna give this a second to develop. I really like that cool mint. I'm glad I added it to the palette. And I love this part with all these smaller cells. That's really, really cool. The bigger ones over here where there was more black paint on there. But this part is so beautiful, just so delicate in there. All right, so we'll see. Some more pillow paint around this. So we get our corners.
just kind of fingered, get some of the paint on the sides. A little finger painting. Figured out we're painting. <laughs> Sounds bad. She slammed that door yesterday when I was in here by myself. I swear to God, this door started going bum 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 bum. <laughs> it's a poltergeist or something. It's a I cannot be ignored. You cannot hide. <laughs> gale force winds. Yeah. That's why she's called Gale, is because of Gale force winds. Okay. All right. What do you think, HOA? Tilt it out. Okay. That's awesome. I'm going to get my little sticky stick here and just pop a couple of these bubbles. first because we're closer to the edge so the goal here for tilting is to open up these really pretty cells we might lose some of that which I'm kind of sad about but that's okay all right let's see so the trick is to tilt this without distorting the shape of the cells if we can There's some really cool things happening. I feel like we need to take this side down a little bit more. Kind of hook that turquoise on the edge and then pull it back. did say I wanted minimal, right? <laughs> what do you think? That's awesome. 
I love the, I love the peacock blue or whatever. It makes the peacock blue. The turquoise, yeah. yeah. The golden turquoise is just an amazing color. I'm not crazy about the way this ends. I'm just going to take my thumb and kind of pull it. I do kind of like it though. I'm really tempted to take this edge and take it that way a little bit, but I don't know what would happen to all of that. Probably get distorted. We could do a marble on there. I was about to say, run a marble through it? <laughs> a marble runs through it. Good. All right. Nothing ventured, nothing lost, right? Nothing gained? How's it go? <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to put him right here. Begin with. I'm going to tilt him around nice and slow. That's cool. Now I actually love it. <laughs> okay, so that was awesome. I really like the effects from the marble. I like that one really cool little swirl right there in that negative space. I'd like, I'm like. i glad that I did that because that emptiness was kind of bothering me a bit. I love these lines in here. I love where it rolled through the cells and did that sort of fan feathery kind of look. I love all the colors. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to clean up my edges. HOA, can you do some close-ups for them? And uh, 
I have already been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this was pretty cool. So, um, you won't be seeing this one today, but I will show you guys on Thursday in the next video for sure. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you soon. Much better. I'm much happier. Mm. Nice control there, kid.